The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Kristen Jaden, Special Programs Coordinator at New York State Public High School Athletic Association. Welcome to the last Captain's Club of the school year. If this is your first time with us, thank you so much for joining. Captain's Club is just a small way for New York State Public High School Athletic Association to reach out to the student athletes across New York to explore the different roles, responsibilities, and expectations of what it takes to be a team leader. Now I know summer vacation is vastly approaching and I know you're all super excited because trust me, I am. As a student athlete, your summer is probably jam-packed with activities, whether it's summer jobs, travel teams, vacations, open gyms, relaxing, and that's just to name a few. Before we get into using summer to prepare yourself for the fall, I want you to take a second right now to reflect on this past school year. Each year, things are going to happen in your life, both good and bad, and some things were in your control and others weren't. So I want you to think about right now the biggest accomplishment of the, of the year for you. It doesn't have to be in your sport, just in general. How did you make that happen? Now I want you to think about a disappointing situation. What could you have done to make the situation better? In other words, if you had to do it again, what would you do differently? And why would you do it differently? What did you learn from the situation? Reflecting on your life experiences will help you not only grow as a person, but as a leader. And like the quote on the screen says, we don't learn from experience, we learn from reflecting on that experience. And as a student athlete, you have a lot going on. You look forward to relaxing a little bit during the summer because you're so busy during the year. But it's also important to put some work into during the summer as well, because we all know it flies by. So my advice is don't waste a day. Now first, put some time into your craft. If you're playing a sport or sports that you love, dedicate yourself to it. Working on your game won't only help you improve, but it'll help your team improve in the future. If you put forth the best version of yourself for them, the team that you love, the team will most likely follow suit. More specifically, use the summer to develop your own skills. Work on your mechanics and your conditioning. During the year, everyone is so focused on the team, which is a great thing by learning plays or doing team building and focusing on practice and drills. But sometimes there's not enough time in the day to work on you. So in the summer, condition. Condition your mind and condition your body because both are extremely important. Now next, Give back to your community. It's normal to get caught up in your own day-to-day -day lives. We tend to think about ourselves, our family, and our friends. This summer, I want you to take some time to get to know some other people in your community by taking part in a community service project. Whether you'll be working with a team you've met before or working with people from different backgrounds, having a common goal will allow you to accomplish more than you ever could alone. Sounds pretty familiar, doesn't it? kind of sounds like belonging to a team. And I guarantee you'll find more out about yourself by doing this, which can truly help you strengthen your confidence. In fact, it has been proven that partaking in community service will help you become a happier person. A happier person means a more positive person. And also, while giving back, you're gaining professional experience. Professional experience can translate into you being mentally and physically prepared to be a leader. If you're a leader in your community, you can most definitely be a leader on your team. And as a leader, you can use community service as a way to help you determine your strengths and weaknesses. You'll learn to be a problem solver, which we all know is imperative on teams. Then once you complete some community service on your own, maybe the next step is to organize a community service event with your team. It can bring you closer together. But the most important thing about making, doing something during the summer and giving back is the fact that you are going to make a difference. And just because it's summer, it doesn't mean you forget about the team. Make an effort to connect with those teammates and, and your coaches. Don't forget about them either. Take some time to get to know the teammates you're not best friends with. I know that's really hard because you connect with a lot of different certain people on your team, but reaching out in this way you can learn more about individuals, which in turn will help you get to know the strengths and weaknesses, both physically and mentally, of yourselves and others. There's so many different 
types of people on the team, if you make an effort to get to know them, your team, yourself, and they will benefit. Now, I know it's summertime and everyone keeps telling you, put in work, make sure you're not lazy, and all these things, but don't forget, summer is about having fun. You work so hard throughout the year, I don't want you for, to forget that. But before I tell you to have a bunch of fun, I want to encourage you to be safe. I'm sure you've heard this from almost every adult in your life and you might be rolling your eyes right now. But I'm talking about being safe by doing just simple things like acclimating yourself to the heat. Come August, if you're a fall sport athlete, it's going to be hot. Take care of yourself throughout the summer so when August comes, your body is physically ready. And don't push yourself to a breaking point. Be smart, hydrate. And you know, you can also learn different proper techniques of your sport, like how to tackle to avoid concussions in football. You can keep yourself and others safe by learning the right and the correct things and techniques of your sport. I'm sure you all know I'm not only talking about being safe only when you're playing a sport, I'm talking about being safe when you're in social situations. As a leader, just because it's summer, it does not mean you're off duty. You still represent yourself, your family, your team, and your school. Keep that in mind this summer. Make the good decisions and take care of one another. Now last, but certainly, certainly not least, use some of the great stuff coming up this summer. If you're interested, you may have a chance to attend the New England Student Leadership Conference from July 26th to the 29th at Stonehill College in Easton, Massachusetts. The conference is a four-day event with over 300 student athletes from the Northeast. The conference focuses on topics like respect, positive values, sportsmanship, teamwork. Now these component, components will be presented in a large and small group session led by, by as outstanding adult and college facilitators. Presenters will address contemporary issues that will directly impact a young person being a leader and a role model. In addition to group discussion, special guest speaker, speakers will share inspirational messages and stories of overcoming adversity and utilizing the power of positive influence. The conference will also incorporate community service, which is great because we talked about that, but if you're interested, please contact your section executive director as soon as possible because the deadline is Monday, June 20th. I know it's coming here quick, but please contact them or you can contact me at kjaden at nyspshsaa.org if you're interested. And we're trying to get at least two students from each section to apply and be a part of that conference. It's a really great conference. Now another opportunity coming up um, is with the New York State Public High School Athletic Association. It's our new Student Athlete Advisory Committee. We're looking for two student athletes, rising juniors and seniors from each of the 11 sections. This committee was developed to give you guys, the student athletes, a voice within our association. The committee discusses topics like um, sportsmanship, scholar athlete, community service, life of an athlete. I want to hear from you and your different ideas about how we can better promote and even create new programming for the student athletes across New York. Now if you're interested in applying, please email me. I'll send you the application. Um, but all of your athletic directors have received it. So you can ask them about it or you can contact me directly. I, I encourage you to take advantage of these amazing opportunities because I will tell you they are well worth it. Thanks so much for joining us today. And in light of the recent tragedies taking place throughout our country, I just want to remind you to cherish every moment, every day, and be kind to one another. Now, don't forget to check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at NYSPHSAA. You can also follow me directly at Kristen Jaden for updates on special programs. If you want to share this episode, if your friends have missed it, um, it'll be posted to our YouTube channel, so check that out. 
and hopefully you'll all be coming back to join us next year. I hope to have some different uh, people join us so you won't be only hearing from me. I'd be more than happy to have one of you out there listening. I'd be happy to have you join me as well. So please, please contact me if you're interested. And the last, I want to leave you with one last thought of the day, and that's to remember that leadership is best learned by doing. Be selfless, work hard, and respect the game yourself and others because being a leader matters and you matter. Have a great summer.